YouTube, it's me Candace. I'm so sorry it's been quite a while since I have um, done a video and um, no excuses. It's just been a while and I'm sorry about that. But anyways, I'm back um, and quite a bit has happened to me since the last video I put up. I was really excited about um, preparing to do my full marathon and you know just preparing for all that and everything. But what happened? Um, it, you know how you say you plan and God laughs? That's basically what happened. Um, I basically got plantar fasciitis, which put my whole running journey to a halt, a complete halt. Um, there was a point where I couldn't, I could barely walk. It was just so painful to walk or to run or anything like that. And, and so anyway, so I went online, googled it, plantar fasciitis, because I think I had it before. So. Um, I kind of was a, I kind of felt like, well, if I just give it a little bit of time, it'll go away. Well, after like two weeks, it didn't go away. Went to the doctors and basically she confirmed that I had plantar fasciitis, which basically it's like when you increase your, um, increase your mileage or wear unsupportive shoes. And I think there's like little tears in your muscles and your heels and that's what causes the pain basically. So the only thing that I could do was basically rest and just give it time and so I had to take like three weeks off from ru running so that basically threw my whole marathon training off schedule so the plan was to do a half marathon in the end of November um, but I don't have enough time because if I would have jumped right back into my training um, my first day back on the weekend my distance run would have been 18 miles and there's no way that my body could handle having three weeks off and then running 18 miles. So the plan is to do my first full marathon in February. And although I am disappointed, I'm just so thankful that I'm still able to run. Um, yesterday I did my first official distance run. I did eight miles and it went really well. I had like a little bit of achiness um, afterwards and I took some Aleve and I iced my feet down and I did my feet exercise and everything like that. And then after that, I was feeling good. So. Today I'm running three to four miles today, so we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I just I guess want to make this video kind of tell you what's been going on with me, and also some of the things I use for my um, plantar fasciitis. So I went to um, this running store, which um, I've been going to for a long time, and they have really helped me as far as finding the proper shoes and all that stuff like that. It's a place called Capital City Runners. And the um, people who work there are all runners, so they kind of know, you know, they're not doctors, but they basically know how to treat lots of running in injuries and stuff like that, or what to suggest as far as, you know, different equipment to use. So, um, some of the things that I purchased at Capital City Runners was, um, well, two things I purchased was Superfeet. And with Superfeet, it has like this little cushion at the heel of it, so that you're not having the full impact of it uh, of when you're running or walking. So I got this. And they come in men and women, of, of course. I wear a size seven, eight in shoes, so it's a, a C. So I don't know if you can see that, a C. All right? And then, um, so I wear this in my, in my running shoes. I use these every time I run. And then I got this right here. Um, this is called a nano foot roller. And it's kind of like a, it's, it's hard, um, but it has like a little bit of give, but it's hard basically. And you kind of massage it over your feet and wherever you have like the parts that really hurt, you kind of do that even more. And I do that basically. And then some people, like, I don't know, I started using this and it changed me. I, I, I have ran with so much less pain, but some people say it doesn't really work, but for me it works. But KT tape. I live by KT tape. And... The thing is, is that it's expensive to me. It's like one box is like 12 bucks, but you can go on Amazon and get it probably cheaper, which I probably will. And basically you can go on YouTube and like type in your foot issues and KT tape, and it'll show you the proper way of taping your feet. And I do that every single time I run, and it's made my running so much, it's, it's not very painful at all, basically. And then, this is not running related, but um, I bought this too. Well, actually I didn't buy it, um, I had so much credit at the store where I get all my shoes and supplies. I basically got this for free. It's called a Fitbit. No, I'm lying. It's called a 
flip, sorry, flip belt. And basically with the flip belt, you can put your keys, credit cards, all kinds of stuff in there and you barely can feel it. I wore it the first time um, yesterday at, during our, my first distance run and I felt like I was basically running with nothing on as far as like any kind of equipment or gear, stuff like that. So you basically just, I don't know if you can see, there's like little slits in it basically. And what you do is you can slide your phone or whatever in here. Hope I can And it kind of just slides on in like this. Oops, sorry. Like that. And you wear it like around your waist. And when I tell you I felt so comfortable wearing it, it I, I didn't have anything like coming on, like feel like, you know, I didn't feel like, um, like tied down to anything it was just kind of just there and I just ran it was like it wasn't even there so anyway so that's what I've been up to um dealing with this um plantar fasciitis and thank god it's, it's finally starting to heal up and um and I'm continuing back on my running journey which I'm excited about and hot February I'll be ready to run my first full marathon so um that's about it there's been other things going on in my life which i can't wait to share with you um but you want to keep this video about my feet issues and my running stuff going on but i will be putting up other videos and um i think that's it so um it was great seeing you again and hopefully i will be back to do more videos and um bye